Hello, my name is Ava Young, and I am a healthy out-of-school time manager for the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. I and my colleagues help out-of-school time organizations improve their policies and practices to encourage healthy eating, physical activity, and youth engagement. Over the next few minutes, we will explore the last step in the six-step process of the healthy out-of-school time framework. Celebrate success! If you haven't already done so, pat yourself on the back for having completed the last five steps and making such significant progress towards your wellness goals. During this lesson, you will learn how you can highlight or celebrate the great work of staff, youth participants, community partners, and families in achieving your wellness goals. To start, we will address why celebrating success is a key step in the continuous improvement process. We will also explore examples of how sites around the country have celebrated their success. No matter how you decide to celebrate, you will be communicating a similar message to all key stakeholders. Healthy changes are possible. A few ways out-of-school time sites have celebrated their success in achieving wellness goals in the past include holding an end-of-year celebration with youth and staff, recognizing staff contributions at monthly staff meetings, writing a success story, including it in a monthly newsletter or other program materials, sharing progress and success with supervisors or other organizational leadership during monthly check-ins or end-of-year reports. Sharing and celebrating your success allows you and other stakeholders involved in the process the opportunity to stop and acknowledge the efforts that went into achieving your goals. The Alliance greatly appreciates your commitment to the cause, and we want to do whatever we can to highlight and acknowledge your efforts that promote healthy eating and physical activity. We love to hear about your stories and are excited to share what you've learned with others. Through documenting and sharing your successes, you can continue to expand your support network and build momentum for continued achievement of your wellness goals. Celebrating your successes should not be the end of your effort, but an opportunity to build upon and expand your impact. Let's pause for a moment of reflection. When you've been successful at something in the past, how have you been acknowledged or celebrated? How did it feel when others knew about your success? Let's look at one real-life example of celebrating success. An after-school program at the Dare County School District in North Carolina recently implemented the Alliance for a Healthier Generation's Empower Me for Life Healthy Living Curriculum. Through the program, both participants and facilitators became more aware of the importance of 60 minutes of physical activity each day. The program celebrated its success by holding a lights-on after-school event a national program in which after-school sites promote the benefit of before and after-school programs. Students and staff showed community members and parents how they had been empowered to live healthier lives. Students led yoga demonstrations and shared their physical activity in healthy eating journals. Using the Empower Me for Life curriculum, students made posters that showed the barriers to being physically active, bumper stickers with healthy slogans, and a collage with pictures of alternatives to being sedentary. An event like this example is a powerful way to show the progress you have made as a site. This type of event not only highlighted the improvements made, but honored youth and staff for their contributions. The event also gave families the opportunity to learn more about the efforts, opening the door for more future interest and involvement. Through highlighting successes and engaging all stakeholders, you can help ensure that your new healthy eating and physical activity commitments become part of your site's culture, helping to sustain your efforts for future years. You have now finished the last step of the six-step process, but this shouldn't be the end. Our six-step continuous improvement process is intended to be just that, continuous. With success under your belt, you might be ready to look back at your inventory and consider new goals and opportunities. Or, you may be ready to go above and beyond the standards and practices listed on the host inventory. 
Either way, you are ready to use the healthy out-of-school time framework and our six-step process again to further support the tremendous work of your program. To review any of the previous six-step process lessons or to browse additional professional development opportunities, visit host.healthiergeneration.org. Thank you again for all of your incredible work.